All right, good evening, everybody. Here from La France Gymnasium here in Fall River, Massachusetts, the home of the Bishop Conley Cougars and the home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. They are taking on CCRI tonight. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks come into today's contest at 8 and 2 under brand new coach Jay Hanley. Off to a great start this season. And just a moment, we are going to send it down to courtside for tonight's starting lineups. Want to thank our Facebook audience for joining us on our live stream via FR Media presents Bayhawks basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to La France Gymnasium for tonight's NJCAA Region 21 contest with the visiting Community College of Rhode Island Knights and your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. The NJCAA Region 21 and Bristol Community College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask that all fans, coaches, and players show respect to the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after tonight's game. Thank you for your cooperation. And now for tonight's starters. First, for the visiting Knights. Number 12, Ariana Pegas. Number 13, Jaslyn Jimenez. Number 22, Faith Fambula. Number 23, Janessa Perry. And number 24, Nicole Chamberlain. The Knights are coached by Doug Haynes. And now, for your Bristol Community College Bayhawks. At four, the freshman from Bristol Plymouth High School, number 33, Amaya Marshall. At four, the freshman from Greater New Bedford Volk, number 23, Abby Hurley. At guard, a freshman from Durfee High School, number three, Atia Rivera. At guard, a sophomore from Durfee High School, number 11, Katera James. And at guard, a freshman from Aponiquit High School, number one, Jada Fortin. The Bayhawks are coached by Jay Hanley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem by our own Lucy Cabral. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I want to welcome every, and everybody on our Bristol Community College Athletics page. Thank you all for watching. And we're getting ready for these two rivals. CCRI, Community College Rhode Island, the Knights, coming in here today to take on the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. And we're getting ready to tip here in just a moment. Again, I'm David Cadozer on the call. 
alongside me doing the fancy camera work. The great Lucy Cabral, a great rendition of the Star Spangled Banner National Anthem. That was superb. Okay, it's going to be Janessa Perry. The uh, Bristol Center. Going to be jumping for Bristol here to tip this one off. If we ever tip it off. All right, so CCRI, they are in the dark green. Bristol in the gray jerseys in white. And the tip will go to Bristol with Jada Fortin. Jada Fortin comes in, averaging 36 and a half a game in the corner to Katara James for three. Gets it to go. The Lady Bayhawks have done a makeover over, over this past season. Coach Jay Hanley coming in and doing wonders with this Bristol uh, women's Bayhawks team. What a turnaround it's been. Drive into the hole with a floater. It's going to bounce up. No good. And it's going to end up right back into the nice possession. Running in the lane with a floater is no good. By, Ab by Janessa Perry. And we'll see what the call is. I'm sorry, Faith Fambula. She's going to go to the line for two. Bristol has the early lead. In the NJCAA Division Three. the women... The women's game plays four 10-minute quarters, so we're just underway here. Rebounded by Katera James. James pushing. And they're going to call Fortin, Jada Fortin, for steps. Okay, inbound to the basketball. Irina, or Ariana Pegas. Gets it into Nicole Chamberlain. Bristol women in man-to-man. -man. That's a three-pointer. That's going to come up way short. Ooh, taken away by the Knights player there. They cannot capitalize. That ball going to be knocked out of bounds. They're going to say it's off the Knights. Bristol to inbound underneath their own basket. James catches in the corner, looking to drive baseline, being guarded closely by Pegas. And there's with the rebound. It's going to be Abby Hurley. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to remain, actually, it's going to be Bristol ball. Jada Fort will inbound number one. All right, now there's a little bit of confusion. It's Knights basketball. Thought that was the case. Evidently, the Knights didn't know about that. Okay, they'll love it inside. Kick back out, number 13, three-point shot. Jaslyn Jimenez can't connect. Knights with the offensive rebound and the score. That was a Urana Pegas with the bucket. 5 4. And they're going to call travel. They're going to call travel on Jaslyn Jimenez. And she's going to go out the game. Jada Burton Hall is in for the Knights. Fortin in the lane with the floater. No good. Falls to the floor. Katera James with the rebound. And she's going to go to the line. She was fouled on the putback attempt. And I'm looking at the two offensive forces for the Bayhawks. Jada Fortin comes into today's contest after 10 games, averaging 36.5 a game. She's been an offensive force. First free throw was made by KJ, Katera James. Second free throw is good. Looking to push. Bristol got to get back on defense. Abby Hurley disrupts that shot. Bristol back with the basketball. 
Crystal got to get it under control here. And that ball is going to be going back the other way. Nice possession. Bristol picking up man all over the court right now. Chamberlain trying to get it out of trouble, being double teamed in the corner over there. 14 on the shot clock. Here's Chamberlain. Shot from the wing is no good by Janessa Perry. All right, that bucket's going to be counted by number 33, Amaya Marshall. And Bristol has the early lead 9-4 to four, with 6.58 to play here in the first quarter. We're going to take a break here on FR Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. All right, welcome back, everybody. 6.58 to play here in the first quarter. We're just getting underway. 9-4, Bristol has the lead. And I'm looking at the two big offensive guns. Like I said, Jaden Fortson averaging 36 and a half the game, and Katera James averaging 25.2. That backcourt has been a force for Bristol. And they can put up points at an alarming rate. Rivera gets it into the corner to Fortin. Rivera run the point, going against the zone of the Knights, and there's going to be a foul call. And they're going to call that foul on number one, Riley Hodge. They get it into the paint to Katera James, and she scores it. 11-4. Katera James off to a good start. Bristol putting pressure all over the core, and they force another turnover. Atiyah Rivera running the point. Out to Fortin. Fortin on the drive. And they're going to call steps. They're going to call, call Jada for a travel. Again, we're broadcasting from the France Gymnasium here in Fall River, right next to the beautiful campus of Bristol Community College. 20 on the shot clock. They get inside to Riley Hodge and... There's going to be a foul call on Bristol. Let's see who it's on. All right, they're going to call. They're going to call Abby Hurley. With that foul, that was her first. And they're going to call steps. Jada Burton Hall, the travel. Here's Rivera at the point, looking to drive, kicks it back up to Katera. 15 on the shot clock. James looking to drive. Loses, loses it. And they're going to call jump. But I believe it's going to stay here. It's going to be Bristol ball. Actually, yes, it is going to be Bristol ball. Looking inbound underneath their own basket. Time winding down. Here's Fortin looking to drive. Try to get it to Hurley, gets it knocked away, stolen away by the Knights. Knights looking to push back up. 
Jimenez for three. Off the mark. Bristol allowing too many second chance points. I mean, check his check his chance attempts. A three pointer is good. I'm sorry, that's by Irana Pegas. Ariana Pegas for three. And that ball knocked away by Pegas. Pegas going all the way, lays it up and in, scoring it. And Jay Hanley, the Bristol coach, will call a timeout here as the Knights climb back in it and get within three. 4.51 to play here in the first quarter. So again, the Bristol women with a huge turnaround. They did not win a game last season. Already have won eight this season. So all of a sudden, you know, Coach Jay Hanley comes in here and has done a great job with this Bristol women's program. And they are one of the top teams in Region 21 right now. So that is a remarkable turnaround. As we get close to the the uh, Christmas break, Bristol doing well. Knights sit back in zone. Rivera kicks it back out to James. Looking to set a pick. That ball almost knocked away by Pegas again. 15 on the shot clock. Rivera. Nice. Little handoff inside, but Hurley gets it stolen away by Riley Hodge. Up to Pegas, who loses it. And Katera James retrieves it and gets it to her point guard. Rivera. Ooh, nice little crossover move by Rivera and scores in the paint with a little short jumper. Number three. Rivera. That ends the Knights' little run. And stolen away by Fortin. Fortin to the basket, lays it up and in. Jada Fortin with the steal and the lay-in. Puts Bristol back up by seven. And now the pressure over the court, over the whole court. Hodge, too forceful with that one. Pegas with the short jumper from the elbow. Knocks it down. Ariana, Ariana Pe Pegas for the Knights. She's keeping them in it for sure. In nice little entry pass by... Rivera gets it inside to Abby Hurley. And she scores for two. And Abby Hurley definitely gives Bristol the inside presence that they haven't had in some previous seasons as of late. That zone working, working against Bristol. Fortson loses out of bounds. But it was knocked away by number three, Jada Burton Hall. 18 on the shot clock. Fortson in the corner. They know that's her shot. They're doubling. Every time that ball goes in the corner, they're doubling. They let her have it this time. Short. Rebounded by James. Can't muster it up. Hurley is there, though. And she can't connect. A couple chances there. Bristol can't pull it out. Or put it in, I should say. Burton Hall off the glass with the runner and scores it for two. 17-12. Fortin going back the other way. Spins. Ooh, just held on to her pivot foot there. Rivera. Oh, gets the friendly roll. And it's a travel. And it's a turnover. And it'll be Bristol basketball. Number 33 here, Amaya Marshall to inbound for the Bayhawks. Kicking it to the corner. Fortin draws a double team. And what is the call there? Might have called travel. Nonetheless, it's going to be nice basketball. Picking up man-to-man -man full court are the Bayhawks. Open in the corner is Riley Hodge, but she can't hold on to the pass. Ball goes out of bounds, Bayhawks basketball.
Rivera, too much dribbling there. Going back the other way with an easy, well, I thought it was easy. The layup, no good. Rivera, and they're going to, actually they're going to call steps on Rivera. Thought it might have been a charge. But great hustle there by number 23 of the Knights there, Janessa Perry, who missed the easy layup on the other end but came back to get position on Rivera. But they call Rivera for steps anyways. Pegas for three. Off the mark. Rebounded by Chamberlain. And they're going to call travel. And they're going to call travel there on Burton Hall. Coming up on a minute 20 to play here in the first quarter. Bristol with a 19 to 12 lead. They're looking to double team Hurley down, down low. There's going to be some outside shots. Four and for three, deep. No good. Amaya Marshall gets into the paint, gets the rebound, and gets fouled. So Amaya Marshall, she'll step to the line for two. Katera James will go into the game. She'll come back into the game for number two, Sarah Seguin, a returning sophomore from last year's team. Marshall misses the first free throw. Actually, Sarah Seguin still back in there. My, Maya Marshall makes the second free throw. Chamberlain on the drive to her left, jumper. Short jumper, no good. Rebounded by Jimenez. And falling to the ground is Raleigh Hodge, and they're going to call her for a travel. Twenty to twelve, Bayhawks lead. A T Rivera. Hurley loses it inside. Going back the other way. They got the numbers. Laying it in. Janessa Perry. Off the nice feed there by number 13. Jacqueline Jimenez. Three-pointed by Rivera. Can't get it to go. Hurley is there and puts it up off the glass and in. That's the inside presence they need. Nice offensive rebound and put back. Perry drives in, taken away by Hurley. Boy, Janessa Perry, she ran into a brick wall there. Perry at the buzzer, gets it to go. Knocks it down at the buzzer. Not a three-pointer, her foot was on the line or she was inside the three-point line, but it's counted nonetheless. At the end of the first quarter, your Bayhawks lead 22 to 16 over CCRI. We'll be right back with the second quarter, right back here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Welcome back, everybody. 22 to 16, getting ready for the start of the second quarter. Here from LaFrance Gymnasium in Fall River. Bayhawk grit, greatness, resourceful, integrity, teamwork. All right, CCRI inbounds, and we're underway here in the second quarter. Again, Bristol, Bristol playing that aggressive man-to-man -man defense. Making the Knights work for it. Driving Pegas, and she tried to get it inside, but she, a little miscommunication there, get it thrown out of, threw it out of bounds. 
Here's Rivera. Marshall tried to get inside to Hurley, but telegraphed that one. Picked up by Burton Hall. Out of control there. They're going to call, going to call travel. Not sure if she knew what she was going to do with the basketball there, but she just lost control of it. And the Knights in that 2-3 zone. Bristol going to be more careful with the basketball. They had a lot of turnovers. Nice pass by Fortune to get inside to Marshall. And Marshall will go back to the line again for two. That's a good pass there by Fortin. To get inside to an open Marshall. And Marshall, she's got a nice little stroke there at the free throw line now. Nice little arc on it. Second free throw bounces out. It's a good, it's a good looking shot. Going back the other way. I don't know how she got that one over Hurley. But she did, and I believe she just drew the foul. Jaslyn Jimenez with an aggressive drive to the basket. No fear there going against Hurley, who's got her by a few inches, to say the least. First free throw missed. Just the start of the second quarter. Second free throw is good. Gets a little friendly bounce. Fortin going to look to push. Fortin being held in check now. She averages almost 30. Oh, taken away. Rivera gets to take it away by Jimenez. Jimenez going to stop for three. Way off the mark. Wide left. Ooh, or James trying to get too cute. Taking it. And, oh, stolen away by Chamberlain, but then she threw it. She threw it backcourt, and it's going to be a backcourt violation. What a turn! What a sequence right there. Bristol only with a six-point lead. Both teams with a lot of turnovers. Foran, way from the top for three, and she's off the mark. Putback attempt by James is no good. Marshall couldn't get the rebound. Jimenez coming up with it. I like this little girl spunk here. Chamberlain for three in the corner. It's good. Nice high arc in three. Finds the bottom of the ocean. And CCRI pulls it within three. You can't let this team hang around. Oh, nice little crossover. Rivera. Fortin driving to her left. That little floater, no good. Going back the other way, Burton Hall. Oh, nice little dipsy do. Puts it above the glass. I thought she was going to pass it. What a fake. Fake me out. 23 22. And now the uh, CCRI bench getting into it. Katera James, no good. Rebounded by Fortin, and she's just having an off night right now. Chamberlain stops. Pops way off the mark. And that's going to go out of bounds. All right, so we have a substitution. We get a couple substitutions coming in now for the Knights. Riley Hodge will come in along with Janessa Perry. Faith Fambula, she'll go out on the other side for your Bayhawks. Talisha Paymon Matos, it's a long name. She comes in and taking it away. Jimenez up, lays it in. And boy, Jimenez, number 13 for the night. She's been like a little spark plug. And just like that, you look up at the scoreboard, and the Knights are up by one. And again, Bristol had control of that one, but not playing well. A lot of mistakes, a lot of turnovers. Perry 
Hodge going up against Hurley. Hodge gets it, gets it blocked by Hurley. Riley Hodge giving him some definite height there. And, uh, well, she's going to have a better shot at it now. Abby Hurley will go to the bench, get some rest. Driving to the basket. Chamberlain gets inside. The absence of Hodge, I mean, absence of Hurley, she's able to do that. Driving. Somehow getting to the basket, but way off the mark. Marshall with the putback. Way short. Not sure if she lost it or what. And now the Knights are playing faster now. Moving that basketball around. Let's see if they start attacking the interior with Hurley out. Perry, the jumper in the corner. Almost got the friendly roll there. Fortune with the rebound. Let's see, let's see who steps up and rebounds now for the um, for the Bayhawks. Fortin. Out of control, but puts it about the glass and in. Maybe that will get her rolling a little bit. <laughs> a little ugly off-balance shot, but she get it to go. And uh, we get a couple lead changes here. Bristol with the lead now. Bristol, despite being, despite their bench being shortened, And we have more substitutions. Katera James, she'll step out. Bristol only playing with seven women. women. So it's very surprising that they're still going after it, getting after it man to man. That shot by Chamberlain was short. But on the offensive rebound, number 20, number 32. First free throw was no good. Ariana Wranglin. Second free throw, no good. Oh, the rebound by Pegas, who gets it to Perry all alone underneath. And that will give CCRI the lead. I think Bristol really struggling with this zone. Loose ball on the floor. And we get another substitution. Coach Jay Hanley with his shortened bench doing a good job of rotating players in. Marshall looking to drive, going to kick it back out. 12 on the shot clock again. That zone giving Bristol fits. Fortin tries to get inside, puts it up a wild shot, loses it on the floor. Maddow's going down there. Riley Hodge in the paint. And we'll see what the call is. Definitely a jump. It's going to stay Bristol ball. For some reason, this one has a make to me has a makings of a wild finish. I think we're in here for a barn burner. We're just getting started. Time winding down, knocked away, and they're gonna say it's off Marshall. It was knocked away. Heads up play there by Pegas. Ariana Pegas got in there and knocked it away, and she knocked it off a Bristol player. And Wranglin's gonna throw that one out of bounds. Little, another little miscommunication there. I think she thought Pegas was cutting to the basket, but she threw it out of bounds. Threw it behind her. Haven't seen Bristol with that tempo. Lately. Haven't really seen them push the ball up with that tempo. Half-court offense really isn't working. Fortin driving against that zone. And they're going to call Jada. They're going to say that she pushed off on the shot. 
And that's going to be her second, her second foul. Coach Jay Hanley going to need to be careful with that. Pegas over to Chamberlain. Three-point shot by Chamberlain, drains it. She can shoot from out there. That rainbow three finds the bottom of the ocean, sinks it home. Fortin looking to answer. And I don't know how many times she's fallen to the ground today. Kind of apropos the way this first half has gone for the Bayhawks. They find themselves kind of sludging in the mud offensively. A lot of turnovers, ugly basketball. Fortin driving to her left, jumper. Just can't find the bottom of the bucket. They got a new shot clock. Fortin looking to drive again. And she, this time she's going to get fouled. And Jada, she just looks frustrated right now. That other previous shot looked like it was going down and just didn't go down. Sometimes this can be some good medicine here when you're not when you're struggling from the struggling from the field and you don't see any shots go down. Sometimes you hit a couple free throws, you see that ball go in. That could be all the confidence you need. Chamberlain with another three. This time can't get it to go. Tracked down by Fortin. And Fortin right now, offense seems to be running through her. We've seen Rivera at point. Nice little fake. Jumper from the elbow, and just like that, what I say? She went to the free throw line, knocked down a couple, hits a jumper there. It's only going to be a matter of time before she gets going. This game's tied. That ball off the mark by Jimenez. Pushing it. Jada. Kicks it back up to Rivera, swings it into the corner. James up fake, puts it up. No good. Hurley fighting it out with the Knights. Chamberlain, and this time it's going to be in the Knights' favor. Possession arrow in favor of the Knights. Both teams with 14 fouls. I feel like we're just getting going. 29-29 with 2.39 left to play. Here in the second quarter, live streaming, Christmas dreaming. <laughs> 13 days till Christmas, everybody. Loose ball on the floor. Rivera comes up, uh, comes up with it to Marshall, who just can't hold on to it. Nice little pass in transition, but Marshall just lost control of it. It goes out of bounds. Knights basketball. Coming up on the two-minute mark here. Pick set by Perry. Oh, nice bounce pass there by Jimenez. But Chamberlain... Gets tied up, and it's going to be possession arrow in favor of the Bayhawks now. 208 to play. Foran gets it across court from the free throw line. James. Off the front of the rim, can't get it to go. James goes back in. This time, Fambula, she holds on to it. Perry all the way to the basket. Rivera had no chance. Perry took it to her. And she has a chance at a three-point play. She can give the Knights their largest lead. Gets the friendly roll. And the Community College of Rhode Island up by three on the Bayhawks. But a lot of time left in this one. That zone very active. All in this. 
That corner shot by Seguin, Sarah Seguin. Just took a little step there. Had an open shot, but. All right, looking for a screen there, Bambula. Now Perry comes up with the screen. Jimenez kicks it into the corner, knocked away. Nice hustle play there by Rivera. 15 on the shot clock. All right, they're going to try to get in inside. Errant throw. Perry. And I thought she went she went into Hurley on purpose there. And they're going to yeah, they're going to call her for a foul. I was going to say she went in she went into Hurley trying to draw a foul, but kind of kind of actually no, they're going to call a foul. On. No, the foul is going to be on Hurley. That's going to be her second. But Perry, you could see on that drive that she was looking to get that contact, but she took it to Perry. I mean, it took it to Hurley, and she drew the foul. Smart play. Smart. And she's good from the free throw line. And she gets the three-point play. 34-29 with a minute six to play in the first half. Five team fouls for the Bayhawks. And four for the guest Knights. So not a lot of free throw action. That ball losing out of bounds because it's Katera James off the pass from Rivera. KJ just couldn't hold on to it. And the Knights can extend this lead. Oh, they went, she went right through the trap. Jimenez kicks it back into the corner. Perry, she's starting to get going. And this time, she can't connect on the drive. I'm not sure if that was a shot attempt or a pass attempt. Either way, it goes out of bounds. 45 seconds left. James, she's been quiet. Since the early going, and then she travels. Another turnover there by KJ. And again, another Bristol turnover. That's been the story of this game. Bristol with a lot of turnovers. In the corner, Perry gets it to go. Only two, but she drains it. She's had a good first half. And now the Knights are up seven. Four and for three. Boy, do they need that. Jada for three, 36-32, 10 on the clock. Oh, nice little give and go. Jimenez gets it to Fambula. Nice defensive play there by Hurley. And boy, does that have a potential to be an offensive interior battle there. Offensive, defensive, we get number 22, Faith. Fambula, and number 23, Abby Hurley. All right, they're going to wave off. It wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have counted, but that shot gets blocked. All right, so we're at the half. Bayhawks had a seven-point lead in the early going, but they see that lead get erased, and the CCRI Knights have a 36-32 lead. It is halftime from LaFrance Gymnasium Fall River. Stay tuned, our Facebook audience, for our second-half action in just a little bit. So for David Cardoza, here on the call for Bayhawks basketball. We'll see you in just a little bit right here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. So yours truly almost getting trampled, almost ran over by the Bayhawks team. But anyways, good to have everybody back on our Facebook live stream, brought to you by FRC Media. Goodness gracious. They did not care either. I was just an obstacle. 
But your Bristol Bayhawks down four. <laughs> and we're just getting underway. Just another day at the office, everybody. <laughs> All right, nice little shot in the corner there by Chamberlain. Steps to her left, knocks that down. You know, it said there was like 20 seconds up there, and all of a sudden they disregarded those 20 seconds. I thought I had 20 seconds to make it across. <laughs> anyway, did they see that back at home? I don't know. 38-32. The Knights. In the corner, Fortin catches, three-pointer, off the mark, tipped, rebounded by Pegas. Up to Burton Hall with a little finger roll, a little lay-in. Look pretty, 40-32. Rivera against his own, kicks it to the corner, to James. And I'm David Cardoza on the call, three-pointer by Rivera. Can't get it to go. Fortin, Jada Fortin with the offensive rebound. Oh, nice bounce pass there by Rivera to get it inside. And knocked away. That was a good look, though. Good idea. Ten, only 10 on the shot clock. Amaya Marshall kicks it back up to Fortin. Better get the shot off. Jada's going to have to get a heave here. Three on the shot clock. And I don't know. I don't know why she didn't shoot that. Going back the other way is Burton with the easy, had an easy attempt, the layup. I don't know if she heard footsteps or what. She had an easy open layup. and Don't even know what you call that, but uh, the, the Knights with the basketball. Knocked away. Fortin had to get a piece of it. Rivera leading the break. Puts it up. She waited too long. Got to make a better decision there. Going back the other way, Jimenez. Bounce pass to Fambula. Gets it to go. Fambula. And that's the way to run a break. And uh, uh, just like that, the Knights are up 10. Coach Jay Hanley cannot be happy. Coach Jay Hanley, uh, assistant with the men's, with the uh, Bristol men's basketball teams. Under Coach Rob Dale Lou. Oh, going to her left and scooping it up there and in. There's Rivera, a nice little pretty move there. Maybe that can spark the, the Bayhawks. Bristol still in that man-to-man -man defense. Pig has come to set a screen. Good, good switch there by the Bayhawks. Good communication. Ten on the shot clock, driving. Hall. And she's going to get a draw a blocking foul, and I believe she's going to go to the line. And she is. And that's going to be the third foul. I believe they call it an Abby Hurley. Both teams with two team fouls early on here in the second quarter. And Burton Hall gets that one to drop. Second free throw, drains them both. 44-34, back to a 10-point lead. Here's Fortin, lobs it to Katera James at the free throw line, draws a double team, and then commits to travel. So that zone has really done wonders for the Knights, and they're causing a lot of turnovers. Ooh, almost knocked away by Fortin. And, well, Jimenez really thought that was going to be off of the off the Bayhawks, but that's not the case. Rivera. Fortin to James at the free throw line. The floater. Can't get it to go. Hurley. 
with the putback attempt, can't get it to fall. Here's some of your leading scorers. As of halftime, Janessa Perry was the leading scorer of both teams. She had 16. Good first half for Janessa Perry for the Knights. Three-pointer by Chamberlain is good. And they're going to say it's only two foot on the line. 47-34. Was it a three? Hurley kicks it to the corner. Fortin. Boy, she just looked all sorts of out of off balance in this game. She has yet to get going. Amaya Marshall will inbound for Bristol. And they are all over Bristol. Kicking it back out to Rivera. Rivera with the floater. Can't get the friendly roll. Rebounded by Jimenez, always looking to push. Chamberlain gets it inside to Pegas. Thought she might have got bumped by Hurley, no call. Rivera. She's got some little, little nifty dribbling moves. Nice pass inside to Hurley. Gets her own rebound. Rivera. Oh, gets it ripped away. She went into amongst the trees there. Bunch of green around her, gets it taken away by Pegas, Iriana Pegas. In the corner, Jimenez, the jumper, drains it. Just two. And the Knights really getting after it now. Fif up 15 with 5.50 to play here in the second quarter. We're going to take a break here. Live streaming. Bayhawks basketball presented to you by FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. All right, so both your Bristol men and Bristol women's teams are underway. Fortin. From the free throw line. I think Chamberlain might have got a piece of that. Hurley's going to end up with it and scores it off the glass and in. Chamberlain cross court to Burton Hall. No good. All right, they're going to say it's off the Knights. Again, as I was saying, the men's and women's teams. Well into the season now. Both teams are winning records. Bristol men, when well, they won their last home game here. Oh, that pass into the paint. And I believe they call travel. Going to keep it right here, Bayhawks basketball. Fortin thought about it. Pulls up to the free throw line. Drains it. <laughs> Got to get going. Got to get Jada going. Got to get Jada and Katera going. Chamberlain loses it. There you go. You get a couple turnovers. Get some easy buckets. Rivera gets it to the paint. Can't get it to fall. Hurley's there. And that's a big bucket. And the Knights are going to get a timeout. And Bristol pulls to within nine. They were down by as many as 15. And they're just trying to creep back into this one. They got plenty of time. And when you get two of the top scorers in Region 21, not just in Region 21, in the country, Katero James averaging 25, Jada Fortin averaging 36 and a half. I mean, you can get back in the game real quick. So 4.35 to play here in the third quarter. Yeah. 
Bristol at the half, despite not playing her best game, or despite some shooting woes, Jada Fortin, Bristol's leading scorer, had 11 at the half. <laughs> Adding a couple more buckets in this half. Katera James with seven. And Abby Hurley actually has eight, so. Bristol's going to see if they can get it rolling. There's a three-point shot by Chamberlain. That high arcing rainbow three. Rebounded by Marshall. And I believe they're going to call a foul on, yeah, they do call a foul on number one, Riley Hodge. And it's going to be Bristol basketball. Both teams have three team fouls here in the third. Marshall catches it, goes to the basket. Oh, a little bit too hard, but Hurley is there to try to clean up the mess, but she couldn't get it to fall. Rebounded by Jimenez. Man, that would have cut it to seven. Obviously still a lot of time. We're still just in the third quarter. Riley Hodge in the corner, short jumper. No good. Rebounded by Burton Hall. Gets it up and it gets the bounce. Jada Burton Hall. Here's Rivera. Fortin drawing those double teams in the corner. James, she hasn't been able to generate or even really, she hasn't been aggressive with her offense. They need her. Out to Fortin for three, way short. And I just haven't seen the confidence from the outside from Jada today. I'm not sure what is going on. She seems a little bit hesitant from the outside. Although they're deep, uh, the Knights defense is definitely extending out there and and getting up on the three-point shot. Burton Hall gets it to the paint, kicks it to Hodge. Nice fake there over Hurley, the jumper. Can't get it to go. Marshall trying to wrestle it away from Pegas. And they're going to call a foul. Away from, they're going to call a foul on Chamberlain. Number 24, that's the 14th foul for the Knights. 11-point lead for the Knights, CCRI. If you're just joining us, 51 to 40, 11 point lead. Glad to have you, our Facebook audience. Katera James, that ball just short. Not sure she got smacked in the arm, but. Burton gets it knocked away by Fortin. Too much dribbling by Burton in the backcourt. Jada can't get it to go. Katera James with the putback. Good job to trail the play there. And Fortin scores two. Bristol down nine. Hall into the paint over Hurley. Gets it to go. Gets the bounce. Going back the other way. And Fortin draws a foul. Good job there. Good hustle there by Pegas to not take away the angle. And now Bristol's going to be shooting free throws. That's the 15 foul. Here in the third quarter, Jada Fortin. First free throw. Gets the bounce. Falls. So Bristol in the bonus. They'll be shooting two. Second free throw is good. And Bristol back to within nine. Coming up on two minutes to play in the third. Oh, Burton Hall decides to go for three, and she drains it. That's a big shot there. Rivera gets that pass kicked out of bounds. I'll tell you what, CCR and Knights, they play team basketball. They don't just have one or two gals that are looking to score. Katera James for three, gets it. And they're going to say her foot was on the line. I believe that was not a three. 
So James with a long two. Bristol down by 10. They're right there within striking distance. And they're going to call, that's a moving, I believe they're going to call a, a push off or a moving pick there on Riley Hodge. Out there past the perimeter. Ball will change hands. It'll be Bayhawks basketball. Riley Hodge will go out. She has three fouls now. And uh, Faith Fambula, she will come in. Number 22 for the Knights. Katera James for three. They need her to start stop shooting. I mean, start shooting. That one was off the mark, though. Jimenez kicks it to the corner. Pegas for three. Going to be short. Rebounded by Fortin. Ooh, she had a chance to look up. You got to look up. Nice pass there. Wow, by Rivera. Good job. What a nice pass there by Rivera. Looking like TB12. Looking like Brady. That's a nice pass. Like that pass there by Rivera on the break, slinging it. And Bristol down by eight. Maddox will come in for Rivera. Number five. Number five, Talisha Paybon Maddox in the game, number five. Going to the rack is Burton Hall. And again. Up by double figures now are the Knights. Knights playing man to man now. Katera James from the top three pointer is short. Maddow's trying to save it. She can't do it. And the Knights will get the ball back with 32.8 here to play in the third. Cold on the outside. Cold December night. Taken away by Marshall. Should have held on to it. Try to get it to Katera James. I understand the thought, but pass goes out of bounds. And the shot clock will go off, so the Knights can actually hold on for the last shot of the, of the third quarter here. 26.3 on the clock. 30-second shot clock off. Playing man linked to the court are the Bayhawks. Good ball movement to get to get through the full court press. And that foul is going to put Wrangling at the line. Eighteen seconds to go in the third, everybody. Don't go away, though. Bristol can score. They can score points in bunches. Second free throw was good. Fortin gets the ball knocked away. Trying to go up the sideline. Marshall to inbound. Gets it to Rivera. Stolen away. Going back the other way. Knights got the numbers. Nice pass by Chamberlain. To Burton, and that's the largest lead for the Knights as this half, this third quarter is going to come to a close. Four and gets it to go at the buzzer. Good job to push it all the way to the basket, and she draws the foul. That was huge. What a turn of events there. It looked like previous possession. Chamberlain with the steal. Knights had a fast break in the early, in the, um, in the easy bucket to extend it to their largest lead of the game. And now, just like that, Fortin goes back the other way, gets the layup at the buzzer, gets fouled, hits the free throw, and they'll begin the fourth quarter down by 10. So it goes from a 13-point lead at the end of the third quarter to back to a 10-point lead. And within striking distance, we're going to take a break here. We're through three. We'll be right back with the start of the fourth quarter right here on FRC Media. And ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Right here, Lucy. This is the new motto right here, just in case. Hello, how you doing? Bayhawks grit. Greatness. Greatness, resourceful. Integrity.
teamwork, Bayhawk grit. Nice. Hashtag. Hashtag, love it. <laughs> All right. It's a new Bayhawks motto, athletics motto. Again, Bristol in the gray with the basketball. And Rivera going to draw the foul. Foul is going to be a number 32 of the Knights. Catching it at the free throw line. Going is Marshall. Misses, but right there is Abby Hurley, and she's got double figures. Most of them, a lot of them on putbacks. She's done a great job on the glass this season for the Bayhawks. Three-point shot by Chamberlain. Boy, she just keeps taking him from out there. Loose ball. Rebound by Marshall. Gets it out to Rivera. Rivera needs to push. Rivera, nice little crossover into the paint. Oh, couldn't get it to go. I thought it was going to fall. <laughs> trying to will it to go in 61-53 Chamberlain again launches can't get it to go Marshall here's Atia come on this is going to be Fort in time Marshall catches at the free throw line gets collapsed on Hurley she's going to go to the line get the ball inside to Abby Hurley And that's the second team foul already. If they can get the Knights in foul trouble here early in the fourth quarter, that's going to pay big dividends. Janessa Perry will come in. Burton Hall will go out for the Knights. Substitution there. And Abby Hurley way off the mark. That was the air ball. I'm not even sure if, if, sure if it hit the air. Second free throw, no good. Going back the other way. Jimenez gets collapsed on. Double team there, four and in Rivera. And calling a timeout, smart timeout there by the coach. By Coach Doug Haynes. He'll call a timeout on the floor. 8.45 left to play here in the fourth quarter. We're going to take a break here on our Facebook athletics page. FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Okay, we are back here, ladies and gentlemen. Inbound to the ball, Janessa Perry. Driving in the paint, puts up the one-hander. No good, rebounded by Faith Fumbula. Fumbula. Jimenez, nice bounce pass inside to Pegas. Good job there. Him and has been a great, good floor general for the Knights. Kicking it to the corner. James with the fake. And again. And they're going to call an offensive foul on, on KJ. They're going to call a charge. And that's going to be James's fourth foul. She's got to be careful now. Going inside. The pass by Perry inside to Faith. And she'll go to the line for two. That's a nice bounce pass up by Perry. Good job by Fambula to seal out the defender. Make herself available. She's going to go to the line for two. That ball kind of looked like Abby Hurley's pre previous free throw for the Bayhawks. It looked like the same exact identical thing. <laughs> Bristol seemingly has been down by 10 forever. And that ball's that's a miss. Rebounded by Hurley. Jada, going to be aggressive, going to the basket. Nice cast to a cutting. Rivera gets it to go. Nice pass by Jada Fortin. Rivera scores two. 
you know, I'm looking at the other two score, the leading scorers for, for Bristol, Atia Rivera. She's averaging 13 by herself. And going into the paint. Loose ball on the floor. Perry had the miss. This ball's on the floor. Let's see who the position now favors. It's going to stay Knights basketball. Eight-point game. 7.45 to play here. Thursday night basketball. Bayhawks basketball. Ooh. That was a little iffy pass there. Eight on the shot clock. Bristol with good defense. Fortin knocks it away. Five on the shot clock. Bristol trying to hold here, get that ball back. In inside. Hurley gets it to Fampool. A nice play by Hurley. Nice block there by Hurley. Fortin going to the basket. Puts it up. And they're going to call a block. Jada went into the lane. Smell blood there. Draws the contact. She'll go to the line for two. First free throw missed by Jada Fortin. Jada actually only shooting 61% from the free throw line. Second free throw was good. Bristol down by seven. And Janessa Perry drives to the basket, has an open lane and drives it and scores it. Hurley did not come back on that at all. She was too deep before Perry just took it to her. Katera James for three. That's going to be way short. And I believe that ball's off Hurley. It is. Come on, Bayhawks. Get going here. You got to get going. And we believe we have a timeout on the floor. Coach Doug Haynes of the Knights, he's going to call a timeout. 7.01 to play here in the fourth quarter. Down by nine. Bristol has the capability of coming back in and um, getting back into this game and tying it or taking the lead for sure. Their offense has just been out, all out of sorts today. Going up against that zone of the Knights. We'll see if Bristol can get back into it, gain some momentum. Offense has been kind of stagnant. We'll see what they can do. We're back on. Bristol matching up man. And they're going to call back. It sh should be a backcourt violation. Or did they call a foul? How was that? Inbound play. And I believe they're going to call an offensive foul. Now it's back Bristol basketball. Here's a Tia Rivera. James. Marshall from the free throw line. Can't get it to go. Here's Jimenez, guarded by Rivera. Burton Hall drives to her right. Underneath the basket, off. Can't let Perry get, the, get to get that basketball. Can't allow them to get second opportunities now. Fortin, little hitch, puts it up. She's just been falling all over the place. Hurley with the putback attempt, couldn't get it to fall. 
I feel like Jada Horton has just been off balance. Every time she's been driving into lane, she's been like falling. I think they just, against the zone, I just think it's just been tough, definitely been tough attacking the zone or finding ways to attack the zone when the Knights have been in zone. And they're going to call jump ball, and it's going to be Bristol ball. 5.44 to play. From the place I like to call the pressure hooker, Cooker. Chili outside. Pressure cooker inside. In the corner. KJ for three. Short. It would have been big if it fell. Jimenez with the ball. Jacqueline Jimenez. Bristol with the trap over here. Burton. I mean, Hall gets the, gets the contact. No foul call, but she gets the layup. And now the Knights up by 11 with coming up on five to play. 67-56. Got to get the ball in the hands of your strongest scorers. KJ weaves through the um, Knights defense there. And Abby Hurley and Ariana Pegas. Going to the floor. This time, the, it's going to be in the favor of the Knights. That jump ball there. Time is a waning. 4:48 to play. Oh, she just caught. She just caught the, her pivot foot there. Perry to a cutting Chamberlain over Hurley. Hurley definitely altered that shot. That ball coming over to the sideline. KJ just gets that ball knocked away. Loose ball, going to the lane, going inside and scoring is Fortin. Driving to the lane. You get, a prep, you get to put pressure. Your coach Shea Hanley, now it's time to trap. Now it's time to get that ball back. You get to put pressure. Catching it in the lane is Pegas, no good. Come on, Abby Hurley's got a box. She's got a box out there. You got to put a body on Fambula. 11 point lead. Kicking it inside. The floater. Short. Chamberlain with the rebound. Ooh, going through traffic is Perry. Bounce pass to Pegas. No good. Good job by Jada to get in there for the rebound. Fortin pushes it up. And she will go to the line for two. Good job there by Jada Fortin attacking the basket. It's got to be Jada time now. Bristol really hasn't been able to hit from the outside either. Their outside shots have been very, very limited, very off the mark. A lot of misses. First free throw. Gets a little, gets a little bounce. Pulls Bristol within 10, trying to get it to within single digits with 335 to play. Fortin, second free throw, can't get it to fall. The put back, Abby Hurley gets in there, that was big. Bristol within eight. Got to get the put, got to put the pressure on him, got to cause the turnover here. Driving to the basket, Hall, Burton Hall gets it to roll and in, gets it to go down the bowl. That was a nice little move there by Burton Hall, a little stutter step. Rivera with the finger roll. Hurley. Rebound and a miss. I think the thing with Abby Hurley, when she catches the ball off the rebound, she gets a lot of offensive rebounds, but a lot of times when she goes up, it's fading away from the basket. She's got to step in. It's a 10-point lead, three minutes and nine seconds to play. We're going to take a short break here 
on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. All right. Welcome back in, everybody. LaFrance Gymnasium, home of the Bayhawks, trailing the Community College of Rhode Island, 71-61. Battle of these two Region 21 rivals. Under 30 miles separate the two campuses. Driving, looking to drive to her left. Oh, goes back into the paint, puts it up. Wildly. Nice rebound there by Marshall. Way to yank it down. Get in there and mix it up. Bayhawks need a bucket. Rivera puts it up. God. She's a little mighty mite. Good shot by Rivera putting that one off the glass. Need a stop here. Got to get in front of the ball. Marshall. Oh, commits the foul. And Burton, Burton Hall, number three there for the Knights. She's had a sneaky good game. But she is the leading scorer on this team. She averages nearly 11 points a game, 10.8 to be exact. Hurley with the rebound, first miss free throw. Rivera looking up, Fortin looking to go to the basket, stop and pop, and she pops it. Now within eight. Got to get a turnover, she loses it. Never say never. Bristol with pressure. Jimenez lost that one out of bounds. She goes out. Chamberlain is in. Rivera for three. Up. Way off. Oh, Abby Hurley. What are you doing there? Got to get in there and get that rebound, Abby. And now, going to the free throw line. Now Bristol. And they got to hope that um, the Knights struggle from the free throw line. They're going to need misses. Bristol needs possessions. They're running out of time. Perry. Janessa Perry misses the first free throw. She shoots 80% from the free throw line. She's a good free throw shooter. Needed a miss, though. Calmly sinks the second one. What the? Well, we get a technical foul. <laughs> I'm not sure where and how and why that occurred, but we have a technical foul, and uh, KJ, Katera James, is going to go to the line to shoot them. And gets the bounce. Cuts it to within eight. Two minutes and four seconds to play. So Katera James knocks it down. Bristol within seven now. Bristol within seven. And they are going to get the basketball. This is a key possession. Bristol's going to need to. They're going to need a good possession here. Get to get to four. Jada go to the basket. Kicks it into the corner. Drawing the double team is James. 20 on the shot clock. Fortin. Got to get it out of trouble. And I think Jay Coach Jay Hanley with a good need of that timeout. Things were getting a little dicey there. But Bristol will keep possession, 16 on the shot clock with a minute 49 to play in this one. Is this where I start singing Christmas carols? <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas carol? Lucy. Little drummer boy. <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I hear you. Any more?
more home games left before Christmas? We'll get you on there. Instead of singing the national anthem, we'll have you doing the little drummer boy <laughs> with uh, Steve playing the drums. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he looks like a drummer. No, saxophone. Saxophone. All right, let's go here. Underway, back underway here. 15 on the shot clock. Rivera. Get a fine Fortin. Jada into the paint, puts it up, and gets it to go. Nice little jump stop there. And the floater. And Bristol finds themselves within five. Ooh, that, that was very close to being stolen. Got to get in front. Are they really calling that a foul? And they're not going to even... Don't believe the call is on. Who's the call on? They got the wrong number up there. I'm not sure who number three is. Is it on Rivera? Either way, I believe Abby Hurley. <laughs> Are these the referees from the Chiefs Patriots game? You see that game? Jeez Louise. Stuck on stupid. All right, both teams are on the double bonus. 74 69. And the but. <laughs> Is there an instant replay now? <laughs> Is there, is there, can you go to instant replay in NJCAA Division Three? <laughs> a, a phantom foul that is on a tier of Vera. She's out of the game. She's fouled out. Harry drains the free throw, and that's just a shame because I'm not sure where the foul call was at. It definitely wasn't on Rivera. She was nowhere near the play. It should have probably been on Abby Hurley, if anybody. If it was the same play that I was looking at in the paint. And Perry can make this, well, essentially a, essentially a three possession game. And the Knights putting pressure in the backcourt. Got to get it over the timeline. Four and pushing. Going to go all the way to the rack. Too strong, though. Had an opportunity there. Just too, too strong off the glass. I think Coach Jay Hanley still wants a review. That was egregious. Unless I'm missing something. That's a key call in this game because Bristol fought their way, fought and clawed their way to, to get back to within five points. And now with a minute 10, down seven. Not the most insurmountable thing in the world, but the, uh, I think their winning percentage is like two and a half percent, Steve. I'm doing a little fuzzy math in my head. <laughs> She's going to get fouled. She's going to go to the line. Question is, what do you do? Do you try to make the first one and maybe try to miss the second one and get that ball back and kick it back for three? Maximize this possession? Drains the first one. Pretty interesting. You try to miss this one, get that ball back. There's a miss anyway. Oh, and I thought Bristol was going to come away with it. Perry. And there's a foul. Was it on number three? No, it was on number two. Going to be on Sarah Segan. The clock. Now we got clock gate.
No, the clock shouldn't have been running. There should be 10 more seconds left on that clock. At least seven or eight more. It should be like a minute left. Put that. You got to put that time left back on the clock. Let's get. I mean, let's get for real. Things are getting stupid. Seventy-six, seventy, and they're gonna put fifty-nine. Okay, I can probably deal with something like that. So these are key free throws for Janessa Perry. She can probably put this one. Out of reach. And she is an 80% free throw shooter. She's been solid from the line today. And now there's a minute left. <laughs> All right, so Janessa Perry. This gym too cloud. This is you wouldn't know this is a home court advantage right now. This crowd's silent to get a pin drop. Come on. Where's the Bayhawks faithful? Stomp your feet. <laughs> Do something. Yell. Oh. Second free throw. And Janessa Perry drains both of those free throws. Maya Marshall probably shouldn't be dribbling this ball up right now. Fortin going baseline to the rack. Gets, ooh. That would have been a huge play. Now this is where it. Now this is where Coach Hanley got to use his brain cap. Two free throws ain't going to get you nothing here. You got to make the first free throw and try to miss that second one. And the first free throw was made. Because right now the Knights are just going to get the ball in the hands of Janessa Perry. And she's been sinking from the free throw line like clockwork. Second free throw. Coming away with it. Hurley just looks like she's scared of the ball right now. You got to get back on defense. Oh! And it's going to be Bristol basketball. Nice defensive play coming from behind to knock that. I believe it was Amaya Marshall. Hera James looking to push. James, all the way to the rack. Oh, no foul call. Where's the, where's the whistle? You got to get the basketball back. You're going to have to foul. You got to foul. You got to foul. You got to foul. Well, you got to foul. You got to foul. You got to foul. You're probably not going to foul. Jeez, Louise. That was... That wasn't good. The three-pointer by Fortin, and that's going to seal the deal here, and the Knights are going to leave this one with a 78-71 win over the Bayhawks. So that last possession just left, I mean, that just erased so much time off the clock. They needed to foul. Bristol just waiting around, and down by seven, just couldn't afford to do that. So the Knights are going to come in, come in here to La France Gymnasium and uh, beat the Bayhawks 78 to 71. So for David Cardoza here on the call, I want to thank our Facebook audience for watching us on um, our Bristol Community College athletics page. And um, so there is a doubleheader. Everybody wants to come out this Saturday. There's a women, a men and women's game. Okay, the women are going to play this Saturday against Hampshire College, and the men have a makeup game this Saturday. Women at one, men at three. Okay, so for David Cardoza, it's been great bringing you Bayhawks basketball on FRC Media as usual. You've been watching Bayhawks basketball here, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. Looking forward to more games in the future. So for David Cardoza, Lucy Cabral on the camera work, and Steve Reese, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball. Good night, everybody.